stood out to you about him? Well, I first saw David at a 100 mile race. At around mile 70, he broke all the bones in both of his small bones in both of his feet and a kidney failure and finished the race. And I'd never seen anything like this in my life. And I was like, I got to meet this guy and see what, what makes him tick. He definitely didn't look like someone who could run a hundred miles. No, not at all. And this big bodybuilder looking guy with his How shirt much did you weigh back then? I would say I was at least 230. My wife at the time, she's now my ex-wife. We go to Walmart, get a blue lawn chair, Ritz crackers, and mile plex. That's what I'm going to have for a 100 mile run. So, show up at the start line of this race. I get to about mile 40, mile 50. I'm feeling pretty good. I get to mile 70. I sat down in this blue lawn chair at mile 70, and my feet were broken. I don't ever close my mind to the fact that this can't be done. Slowly but surely, I was able to stand up, and I was literally hobbling around this track, just walking. No running at all. I couldn't run. My ex-wife looked at me and she's like, man, you're the, we, we agreed I'm not going to make the time. I was going way too slow. And at that time, at mile 81, something clicked. And my mind knew I wasn't fucking around anymore. And I was going to die out here on this fucking one mile. For, for whatever reason why, I was going to get through this motherfucker. And I ran the next 20 miles, ran, at about a 1030 pace. And I did 101 miles in 18 hours and 56 minutes.